Welcome to VM Blog's coverage of VMware Explore 2023, taking place in Las Vegas at the Venetian. Today, I have the pleasure of having Phil Trikovic, who is the Senior Vice President of Revenue at Tintree. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Maybe for people who aren't familiar with Tintree, you could kind of give us a quick overview of the company. Okay, be happy to. Uh, Tintree was formally launched as a commercial product uh, in 2011-ish, in the middle of 2011, was founded by a former, former VMware executive, Karen Hardy, with the sole purpose of serving the VMware market. And then, you know, if you would, maybe talk a little bit about how uh, Tintree partners with VMware. Obviously, we're here talking about uh, the VMware Explore event. What does that partnership look like between the two of you? Oh, uh, again, we've got cooperative support agreements, joint development efforts, sharing of APIs, et cetera, et cetera, the standard uh, uh, manufacturing partnering relationships. So we are tightly integrated with VMware and VMware's offerings. Um, that's where we are with VMware. So very tight. We are designed 90% of our customer base is VMware based. So. And what kind of problems does Tintree solve for VMware users? Uh, there's a number. Um, primarily, if you look back over the past, you know, and I'm dating myself, uh, 30 years, not much in the enterprise infrastructure or enterprise deployment methodology has changed from the late 90s, early 2000s. So we've had these huge advancements with VMware in gaining efficiencies of compute, reducing the amount of wasted compute, which was the primary original driver for doing the virtualization. But we have not had platforms or methodologies that have advanced along with VMware's advancement. So the whole philosophy behind Tintry was, why are people still doing all these split hosts, split storage arrays, fiber channel, this, that, and the other thing, when it can be so much more uh, easy to deploy and manage and cost effective that comes with making it easier to deploy and simple to manage. So that was our mission statement from day one. Uh, you, you, you kind of gave a list of rundown of some of the problems you're solving for, for, for folks. Maybe you can double click and uh, expand a little bit and provide a deeper dive into the company's technology itself. Sure. Um, what we've done is basically it's become a data store for VMware. I'm, I'm going to assume this audience understands what that is. Uh, traditional and legacy methods of deploying those environments have been done on you know, fiber channel networks, uh, via NFS, via iSCSI, you know, SMB, go down the list of protocols, different stacks, different methodologies for laying out those data store blocks. It's incredibly complicated, does not need to be so. So that's where our integration with VMware comes in. VMware itself as a best practice asks for X number of data stores for X number of VMs with X number of capacity behind it. Very, very simple to do that with Tintry, and that's what our sweet spot is. That we have taken all of that complexity of LUN mapping, zoning, managing, et cetera, et cetera, and availability is a huge one as well. What's secondarily and third to that, which is probably more important than the simplification, is the amount of automation and simplicity that we bring into that as far as expansion goes, migration goes, moving VM workloads around. It's all push button with Tintry. Now, VMware Explorer is a huge event. Uh, with lots of partners, lots of vendors that, you know, kind of compete with you in the market. Um, what is it that you would say sets you guys apart and is your differentiator? Sets us apart. Okay, so I always say this, perhaps a bit cocky, but it's true and I can prove it. We don't have competitors to what we do. If someone's doing mixed match workloads, you've got fiber channel workloads, you've got SCON, what have you, perhaps you need those legacy systems because you have mixed workload environments. What we've seen over the past 10, 15 years is those mixed workload environments are dramatically shrinking and more space, uh, more effort, more energy and development is going into the VM model, which is incredibly efficient. It takes from old LPAR, old mainframe methodologies, which today hold true as the most efficient, cost-effective way to serve IO. So that's what we bring to that market. I don't compete with, say, EMC. I mean, you do on a, a field level, but philosophically and how we go to market with this has nothing to do with what they do. On top of that, we've got the uh, automated QoS that's integrated very tightly with VMware and VMware's operations on the back end, where we can automatically monitor IO, we can find peaks, and we can adjust your resource compute automatically. Does not have to be done by the end user. It's done over time 
by tracking metadata. I also like to say we were the first artificial intelligence company since this is the big buzzword these days. But it's true. Back in, in 2011, we brought the first platform to market that could look at usage patterns, determine actions that need to be uh, applied to remedy whatever issues are arriving within those usage patterns and apply them without human intervention. If you do that on a legacy fiber channel array, good luck. It's an incredible amount of effort and intelligence, brain trust that is required to keep those balanced. So we do that all on the back end without the need for intervention from users. Now you mentioned AI, which is obviously a focus of uh, many uh, companies out there. Uh, what would you say are the big trends that you see going into 2024 that your company is, you know, specifically interested in. Interesting. So what are we, what trends are we seeing? So on a macro, obviously everybody's investigating, like we're in the investigating phase. Uh, and I guess luckily for us, or maybe not, it, that does require a, a tremendous amount of horsepower to deploy even models to decide if it's something that you should go forward with. So what we bring to that ease of use performance, you know, we're not an HPC solution, so we're not going to be targeting uh, the actual live rollouts of those, but for development environments, for managing code bases, for managing process flows, modeling out AI workflows within it, we're fantastic for that. And we're seeing a lot of success in that arena. Well, Phil, we really appreciate you taking time to join VM blog today ahead of the, uh, the, the coming trade show. Before we let you go, Obviously, we want to tell folks, if you're watching this video and you're attending VMware Explore, make sure you come by your booth and, and check out things for, you know, get get a demo and check things out for yourself. But if you're not going to the trade show, uh, where can folks go if they want to learn more about the company, the technology, and the things that we talked about today? Uh, Tintry.com is the best place to start. Uh, if you're looking for specific demos of any of these modules or Tintry on a whole, go to our YouTube channel. Uh, it's very thoroughly documented, thoroughly demonstrated on that channel, uh, our entire product suite. So that's the easiest way to start um, and suggest you do. Great. Well, we look forward to seeing you at, uh, at the show. Okay, you too. Thank you. All right. <laughs>